If you could, what would you make illegal right now? Completely ban privately funded political advertising and political donations. Give each candidate an ad and event budget that's paid for from a state or federal taxpayer fund. Candidates can use it any way they want, but once it's spent it's gone. This would encourage two things. Firstly it would weed out and expose candidates with weak financial management skills and secondly it would encourage citizens to actively find out more about the candidates and their policies instead of defaulting to the face they recognized from the TV campaign that eclipsed all the other candidates' budgets. Multiple taxes. Tax the income, or the spending, but stop taxing both. Crazy that they tax your money and then make you pay taxes on items with money already taxed, smiley face. I feel for the non-corporate, crying face. Edit I'm not against taxes in general. Public work needs to be done, road maintains etc. But when we see how much is spent on military, not only is our taxes used incorrectly, they also get way too much. I mean what do we prepare for, fighting aliens? Smiley face. The problem with just make it illegal is that any laws just ink on a page without the political institutional will to enforce it. There are lots of laws against insider trading, and tax cheating, and anti-union tactics, and anti-competitive business practices and much more that are on the books but without any political institutional will to actually systematically investigate and prosecute elites who break them. Politicians would have a large slash in their paychecks and they would have to pay into social security like the rest of us. They would get a fraction of the retirement plan they have and they would have to purchase their own medical insurance. They would have to live by the same laws they make for us and the taxpayers don't have to pay for their vacations, exorbitant retirement, or medical insurance. Those goddamn large trucks with belt lines so high they can't see anyone smaller than them. 90 of the time they're bought by people who use them as status symbols and drive them like total dicks. People are a goddamn danger to the road, and at the very least you should need a CDL to drive one legally. Ideally they'd just be straight up outlawed and we'd go back to smaller and more practical drugs. It should be illegal for anyone in a public position office to lie to the public. Be it police, local government, state government, federal government, the president, whomever. And if it's proven they did lie knowingly, super harsh punishments like 5 years in prison $10,000 fine for instance. I'm incredibly tired of every level of our government abusing and taking advantage of the general public. You age slave 2022 said what I was going to say, so I'll add. Hedge funds and brokerages to sell securities and shares that doesn't exist. Or more shares than exists. Securities sold, not yet purchased at fair price. FTDs failed to deliver. I can't FTD to the IRS or I'll go to jail. They can FTD as much as they like and pay a small fee. Cost of doing business. Foreign aid the US giving foreign aid. Maybe fix the potholes, infrastructure, electric grid, student debt, healthcare, welfare, homelessness, environmental impact and public transit before sending billions to other countries so they can have all of the above. Also, no one over 65 should be allowed to be a politician. Denying PTO requests. I've read some really sad rejections to well-timed messages to managers stating that the employee would be off for whatever reason, and the employer basically tells them to not expect to come back and to work for the shift they're assigned after they skip the one they're denied leave for. It would be legal in the US to campaign for any political office any earlier than two months before an election. They would also only be able to take contributions in that time frame. The contributions would be from individuals only. The limit would be $100. All POCs and super PACs would be illegal. Providing it will seek and not be undone by the Supreme Court, I'd like it permanently illegal to try to stage a coup. And that's a really fucking weird thing to have to say. Like please I don't want more idiots trying to take over the country and that's pretty much it. Political gerrymandering. Every state should have an independent commission drawing districts and that are uniform and relatively equal so that politicians are actually elected by people and not drawn into safe seats. Minority rule is ruining this country. Posting a video with people who have not consented to be videoed. I'm not talking about being in the background, I'm talking those people who run up on randos shoving a phone into your face and then posting it. Fuck those people into the sun. Lifetime politicians. Term limits would stop so much of the BS we have going on in the US right now. New blood every so often. Less bribery, less insider trading. Less out of touch old people sucking down the community tit of the country. For non managerial roles like trades work, overtime or work beyond the 32nd hour, no further taxes can be taken out unless income exceeds 400 the national median income. 
Overtime is tax-free in Ohio for example up to $140,000 a year. Child pageants. I would where the fuck they became popular or when, but it's literally so creepy and the parents are fucking weird. What's sane? Grown adult wants to sit down and watch literal children and practically launch your A. I would revoke qualified immunity for police officers basically making a lot of things that are illegal for normal people illegal for police too. Making civil forfeiture not be a thing anymore would be great too. Owning more than three residential homes. I honestly think after that you should be exponentially taxed per house. It disgusts me that I can't afford a home. Texas, I work so hard and have very little to show for it. Letting every site on the internet harvest and sell our info. We are forced to give up info. To function these days? It should never have been allowed. Not being able to destroy information you put out there. Littering. I know it is illegal now, but I'd make it illegal here people who litter must serve 100 hours picking up litter off the roadsides, and have to wear a hat that says I'm a jerk and I got caught. Tax-free churches and religious organizations getting involved in politics. They're supposed to lose our tax-free status for this but they own politicians and regulators, so there's never any consequence. Hoarding wealth. Nobody should have more money than they know what to do with. It's not a game or a competition. And anyone who thinks so can go live on Mars and stay the hell away from the rest of us. I'd increase perjury from class I felony punishable by up to 6 years in prison, to a class A felony punishable by up to 60 years in prison. That would certainly prevent some people from doing it. Politicians having side hustles that they can benefit from in their role as a politician e a real estate guy becomes a politician and then starts trying to pass laws related to property and land. Energy drinks should not be allowed to sell to under 15 18 year olds. I myself am an energy drink enjoyer. But it's been proven so many times it's very unhealthy especially to children. Paying truck drivers by the load. I see too many co-workers in a hurry because the faster they can get their runs in for the day the sooner they can go home. It breeds dangerous drivers. Child abuse and animal abuse should be taken a lot more seriously we need stricter laws and hold people accountable. States have to work harder to monitor this. New regulations please. Holocaust denial. Nazis themselves kept records of this. They were proud of it. We have documents about it. And these fucks are trying to say there's no proof, that it didn't happen. We were drivers shoulder drivers. Yes it's illegal but very rarely enforced. I work off a highway and constantly see people using the shoulder as their way to avoid congestion. Private donations to politicians. All elections should be publicly financed. Anyone caught using private money is immediately barred from running for public office for 10 years. HOAs? They are the worst thing to happen to the housing industry. The irony of us portraying freedom in the US and then allowing HOAs to exist to limit homeowner freedom. Billionaires no one needs that much money. If you put a cap on a single family, say 50 million and turn all the extra funds back into the economy then everyone would win. Lobbying. The only time a business needs to meet with a politician is in public during an open session type thing to advise on bills in everyone's view. Nazi shit. Just like Germany. Anything that isn't explicitly a museum piece or related for education purposes only can enter a burn pit for all I care. School vouchers charter schools. It's time to fully invest in public schools and allow them to flourish instead of intentionally starving them of funds. Genital mutilation of children. I don't care what someone wants to do to themselves but forcing that shit on children who can't consent is sickening. Non-therapeutic circumcision of boys. Medical professionals restrain infant to. News media lies. Errors happen. But it should be illegal to represent yourself as an objective authority and then knowingly tell lies. Big companies like retail stores destroying perfectly good products simply so people can't have it for free and creating tons of waste. Exorbitant corporate profit margins without appropriate compensation to the lower level employees who made it possible to achieve. Any type of racism, homophobia, transphobia etc. I know there are better answers but this was the first thing that came to my mind. Politicians being able to buy stocks from one. Their donors and two. Stocks that they then are able to pass laws to help boost. Credit scores reports. Healthcare for profit. Political bribery, aka do campaign finance reform and get rid of lobbyists, congress, senators, or any other high-level public officials from trading stocks or being there longer than eight years. Politicians doing side hustles or being consultants while in the local, provincial national level. My insurance company dictating which medication I need instead of my doctor being the ultimate decision maker. Not putting your shopping cart away in America, 
These people are animals who leave them in the parking spot. As a painter I would make it illegal for each show A's to take more than three days to approve colors from their lists. Religious beliefs having any place in the creation of other laws. They need to remain entirely separate. Fraud via chargebacks. Not 100 sure on the current legality of this honestly. I think it's gray area. Bidding $1 higher than the person next to you on the price is right. That shit is ignorant. Running for another elected position while you're supposed to be doing a job you were elected to. Excessive profiteering. Using inflation as a guise to raise prices well beyond what is reasonable. All news would have to be fact-based. Anything else would have to be prefaced as opinions. Auto brights on cars. People just leave them on and I go blind whenever they come over a hill. Churches advocating political positions to their congregation, and telling them how to vote. HOAs, or at least some of their insane power to make life incredibly awful for homeowners. Stop the Saudi and the CCP from buying businesses and real estate in America right now. Price gouging in the medical industry. People from Wisconsin having driver's licenses. Supreme Court members, Congress and their families receiving a gift over $100. Junk mail. So many resources just for me to throw it into the recycling immediately. Lobbying. Pox. Super pox. Insider trading. Incumbency benefits. Gerrymandering. Misleading. Inaccurate or otherwise non-factual reporting. Media or advertising. Civil asset forfeiture. It's legalized theft by the government without evidence. Politicians buying selling stock. Looking at you, Nancy. How is NVIDIA doing? Rent being higher than the median wage. Airbnbs in historical neighborhoods.